Hello Aquarius, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some re rune readings. Blah, 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 blah. Today we are doing <laughs> the readings for October 2023. I am going to be using the gorgeous Unifying Consciousness Tarot by Lori Lytle and Leo Scopacasa. And we are also using the runes on Willow, the, the Elder Fruit Arc rune on runes on Willow Wood. So let's get started with a card from the beautiful Unifying Consciousness Tarot. And we have the three of wands. So you're kind of waiting for your ship to come in. Um, you're sort of kind of waiting uh, for things. You're also sort of working on th there's a decision thing. It's not so much as with the sec with the two of wands, but it's sort of like there's still a decision thing. You're sort of waiting for these things to come in as the, the guy in the picture is like looking at the leaves coming in. So I guess that's what <laughs> the sort of thing is happening. But there's things that you're sort of waiting to come in um, and you're sort of watchfully actively waiting. So let's get some runes down and clarify this. That definitely wanted to come out. Oh, case, okay, because you're, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> let's see what we have. Oop, doopy doo. Okay, so your central issue this month, Aquarius, is we have Pertho reversed. <coughs> Paratho's the rune of wealth, of, oh my gosh, I almost said wealth and worth. Everything's wealth and worth. No, that's wealth and worth, but that's why that was in my head. So your central issue this month is Paratho reversed. Paratho's the rune of the lot box. This has to do with surprises and fate. Um, it is reversed on the path line and in the central issue. So two things I'm going to read it as. <clears throat> One, um, you may have had an unpleasant surprise or you may be dealing with something where you're worried about an, an unpleasant surprise happening. Mostly though, the way I read Paratho Reversed is it's a surprise about yourself, something you're learning about yourself that you maybe didn't realize before, but that was always there. Leading up to this, <clears throat> excuse me, we have Gabo. Gabo's the root of the gift. This has to do with agreements, decisions, goals, and plans. This is something that's just happened. So you just sort of like had accomplished this goal. And now you're in a situation where maybe things are coming to light that are like not super pleasant. But also at the same time, you're probably learning things about yourself that you didn't realize before, and this is very exciting. Um, what is going to help you with that is that you're you're becoming more confident. You're getting higher, greater self-esteem. We have Fehu reversed, which is rune of wealth and worth. Ha ha. And <laughs> this is the cattle. So cattle is wealth and worth. It is whatever makes your life rich as long as you take care of it. But it's reversed, so that's internal. So what helps you is just, you know, taking care of what you need to for your internal sense of wealth and worth. So whatever makes your life rich in inwardly and also whatever gives you your confidence. Your confidence itself is what's going to help get you through this. So either e whether it's getting you through a negative surprise or whether it's getting you through a um, something that you're learning about yourself that you need to integrate. Either way, your confidence is going to help you with that. What is not going to help you is we have Dagas, which is the rune of the breaking of the day. This is often, I, I'm going to read this as overwhelm. This could be just a sense of things getting like overwhelming. So if this is if if this is a negative surprise or if this is something that comes up that you just like, oh my gosh, this was always in place but now I've just realized it and it's it's overwhelming me. Or if it's something that was something that you've just discovered about yourself that is now overwhelming you. If you let the overwhelm win, it will overwhelm you. <laughs> so it's not going to help you if you sort of dwell on, oh my gosh, this is too much. If that starts to be the case, bring yourself back up to, no, you know what? I am confident. I I have I have worth. I know that I have worth. So we're going to, we're going to take care of that. And that's, you know, sort of you're watching for things to come into fruition. You're sort of actively waiting for these things to, to happen. So I guess like if something, if you've learned something about yourself, then it's sort of like you're waiting for all the pennies to drop where you're sort of integrating them and helping, this is all feeding into your better self-esteem, your confidence in your inner worth, which is also conversely also helping you. By the end of the month, you will be totally together about this. Like whatever this is that happened or is happening this month, um, that is a surprise, but it might be about you or it might be about something that happened outwardly that maybe isn't the best, but it's something that happens and you are having to deal with it. Um, 
just leaning on your uh, on your wealth and on your wealth lean on your wealth lean on your inner worth and your sense of uh, your sense of self-esteem and your confidence by the, end of, by the end of the month, we have Yira. Yira is the rune of the harvest and also time. You're going to have a better sense of abundance. You're going to be like all together. This will have felt like a season that you will have been through. And the completion of it is the completion of this month. You're going to feel like you are getting the fruits of your labors for what you're doing. And it will all be sorted out. Like it, it feels like whatever it is that you're waiting for at the beginning of this month is going to come into fruition by the end of it. So that, Aquarius, is your reading for October 2023. I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye!